Today we're gonna to show you forward and reverse punch. These are our first two punches out of the eight that we use. And they're a little different than a jab and a cross that you find in typical boxing. So we're gonna show you, it combines your footwork and we'll point out the safety tips so that you don't hurt yourself when you're throwing the punches. You can do these on a heavy bag as well, but we're gonna show you partner drills with blocking and with pad work. Let's get started. All right, Thomas is gonna set up. We'll show you the forward and reverse punch. So forward is my lead hand. I shuffle and punch. If I'm just standing still, forward punch, reverse punch, forward punch, reverse punch. Now, when you look at your punch, there, you, everything's a compromise in fighting. So if I want more power, I have to rotate my body more on this reverse punch. So I go here. Well, when I do this, yes, I get more power, I get a little more reach, but now to get my arm back is a longer window. So when he comes in, now he's gonna beat me to the punch. So when I keep my body back, you can see my punch now is way too far away from him in order to connect. However, if we use our feet to change the range, now, as I shuffle in, I start making up for that by moving my whole body. One, two. When you're training a forward reverse punch, you can practice in the air if that's all you have. You can use a heavy bag or you can use some pads and have a partner hold them for you. You want to try to work stationary first. Get the general mechanics down. And then once you're comfortable with that, you can start trying to shuffle and move. So I give him the pad. So at this level, what you're trying to do when you start is just get your punch out and back. So if you have to do one at a time, getting the hand out and not leaving it out or dropping it. And as speaking from experience, anyone who's done other martial arts, especially traditional martial arts, where you go to this position after you punch, it is very, very hard to break that habit. So you wanna be able to bring this hand up back into this guard position and never, never, never should it be subconsciously going back to here. And if it is, we just haven't trained it enough to get rid of that. So out and back to start. And then later, you'll start working when this one punches, this one comes back. So if I go here, and then he goes there, this hand is returning fully in. So he doesn't have two out. He's got one in, one out. What we call a guard principle. Now we combine some circling with this. So I punch, circle, and that's the forward reverse punch. We have circle punch, uppercut, scraping fist, whipping fist, chopping fist, back fist. We'll add those videos as we go. So if you wanna stay up to date, hit that button down below, subscribe, and get hooked.